Today is a very special day because I'm going to teach you something. Well, it's my secret recipe for beef jerky. So, here's the paradigm. Do people usually make their beef jerky in a smoker? Or do they make their beef jerky some other way? Well, I like both ways. But I'm going to show you today... I know it's turning into a cook, cook show, but I think you'll like it. How to make your own jerky and how to make it with a dryer. <clears throat> so the first thing about smoke jerky is you have to have a smoker. Well, I live in an apartment and to run a smoker would be a little irritating for my neighbors. <clears throat> so I got to admit, smoking your jerky is pretty good. However, Sometimes jerking can get too smoky and it's kind of overbearing. So I fell into oh, a couple years ago uh, using a dryer and I started out with fruit and oh, doing your own fruit like bananas. Oh my gosh. If you're going to do dried like bananas, all you do is cut them up in little quarters, dip them into like a lemon juice put them up on the trays, put them in the dryer, and <clears throat> I think it takes about almost 24, about 18 hours for them to dry. And they are so much better than what you buy in the store, I'm telling you. But we do the same thing for pears and all this stuff. But I better keep going here because I'm got i going to actually show you how to do this. So if you can't run a smoker and you don't want to deal with the mess of a smoker, I'm going to show you my dryer. Now the typical dryer you can get at Walmart, let's say, and they're round and you get ones with layers, and those are great, but <clears throat> I did a step up and went to Cabela's, and I wanted to get one that went to a higher temperature, because if you were actually to sell your jerky, or I like to share it with a lot of people, the legal requirements for the um, food administration is to take the temperature up to 140 degrees, which my dryer will do. Uh, and I will show you, I'll show you a picture of the dryer right now. So it is. So <clears throat> the first thing you got to do is get yourself some meat. So one of the things I do, and here's a picture of what I uh, do for meat, but you could get a, um, a linden broil and have the guy or the butcher cut it for you in thin slices. But every time I go to the grocery store, it's too late and he's already gone home. So I buy this uh, thin slice steak that's used. It's a used in a lot of Asian meals. Um, they tend to make it for stir fries and stuff. And I'm sure when you go to the grocery store, you'll see this stuff. And it's already thin cut, and uh, you can buy as much as you want. So I'm going, I think, with about a pound and a half, it looks like here. And uh, so here's the start of what I do for me. And I don't have to cut them up or anything right now. The next thing I do is I get a good-sized bowl. And here's a picture of the bowl. And then the first thing I do is put in about a level tablespoon of salt. The problem is with making jerky is people tend to want to use too much salt. If you're going camping or hiking or something, putting a little bit extra salt is good for uh, preservative. But um, my jerky usually doesn't last more than about three days and I do keep it refrigerated. Uh, so I like to keep my sodium or keep this uh, salt down. So I put about no more no more than a tablespoon in this big bowl. So uh, the next thing I do is I, um, I've i come across a marinade that I just love and you get this at Safeway at the grocery store. Here's a picture of it. It's a brisket sauce and I don't know why I tried a brisket sauce but I only use a half a bottle. There's only a half a bottle here I poured in and I get to save this for the next batch I make. And then the next thing I do after that is add water. Now I just showed a measuring cup here, but it shows four cups, but you, it doesn't have to be just four cups. You can five cups, no biggie. You want to water it down a little bit. Uh, the marinade is pretty strong, so there's no reason to uh, put the whole bottle in. So a half bottle is just fine. About four cups of water, and you're set to go. Next thing you want to do, stir this all up before you put anything in it. So stir that salt you put in there, and stir the brine up real good, and and by the way, you do need to shake the bottle of the brine just to make sure that's all mixed in there. Get that all saturated and broke down so it's a nice 
a smooth brain, nothing, uh, everything's dissolved. And after that, you want to go because you're going to start handling meat. Um, I washed my hands before, but I always wash them again. Um, so here's uh, just getting under there, making sure we wash our hands good. Rinse them off, dry them off, don't touch anything because you're going to go straight to the meat. So once you got the uh, start opening the packets, you start laying the uh, layers of meat in uh, in this brine, and once you get all the meat in there and you get it all, make sure it's all under the uh, marinade. I put a, a piece of tin foil over the top and put it in the refrigerator overnight. And by the way, just to get a closer look at uh, at the uh, brisket sauce. That if you want to buy this, it's a um, Here's a little better picture. It's, I think it's called Gold Buckle. Anyway, good stuff. Works good. Um, I have it tested by many friends. So here's a picture of my dryer. This is a little bigger dryer than most people have, but I like this one because the temperature control. A lower temperature for fruit and uh, things like that, and a high temperature to do my uh, jerky. And it has, uh, what's also nice is these trays come right out and they fit in your um, dishwasher perfectly. So as soon as you're all done, put them in the dishwasher, get them all sanitized and clean for the next time. Next day, you're ready to make jerky again. Then I lay out paper towels on the, on the counter. I start bringing my trays out. And once I got those laid out, I start pulling the meat out and laying them out real party like and uh, I do about three trays at a time and I uh, then I go and start loading them into the dryer now after that um, basically I close the doors up I start about three o'clock in the afternoon these will be done the same day they'll be done around eight o'clock nine o'clock if they're a little thick about nine o'clock but what I'm going to show you here is halfway through the process so about in two hours, they're starting to get fairly dry, but they're not done yet. I will actually start pulling these off because I want to turn them over anyway just to make sure the heat transfers more. I do two things. I pull these out and I start slicing them into smaller pieces. So here's a picture of me cutting them up. And what I'm also doing is kind of turning, turning my uh, meat over so I can get heat to, uh, and air to both sides. And also, if I have thicker pieces that aren't cooking as fast, I tend to put them on back up to a top tray because <coughs> there's more heat there and, and manipulate the meat to the different levels of the uh, dryer so they cook evenly. And then about, oh, your well, first of all, your house is going to smell wonderful. And then you're going to be hungry all evening. But uh, uh, you can steal pieces too as it's getting closer to the end. And when they're all done... Um, I'm going to add to this video and show you just how delicious they are. So I'm going to do a pause here and then turn it back on in a couple hours and we'll talk a little more. Okay, well we're back. It's about 7.30 and some of the uh, first pieces of uh, jerky have been coming out. Um, I want to remind you that what's really nice about this treat, and here's one of them right here, is... Uh, these are great for uh, lunches. They're great for uh, uh, traveling with. They're great for uh, hiking trips. Um, if you're going to do like hiking or looking for more protein, or uh, I'd probably add a little more salt to them to, just so they keep better. I keep mine refrigerated because, but they are cooked thoroughly. And here's the test. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> anyway, if you get a chance to get yourself a dryer, they're actually quite, um, the smaller round ones with the uh, layers are quite, um, oh, good. Quite affordable. The, the dryer, see, uh, the dryer you've been watching on this video, I think they run for about 139, 149 at, um, um, Cabela's. I like them because they have a higher temperature, but uh, the lower temperature ones you uh, just take a little longer, but they work just fine and quite affordable. So, anyway, 
thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, making jerky with me. Um, if you uh, have any ideas or uh, uh, suggestions for future video videos, let us know. Please take the time to like our videos, uh, take the time to share our videos, and if you get the opportunity to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great evening and enjoy your jerky.